anyway, um, this is the second part of the video. Uh, they thought that I was going to relax on the issue where yesterday they were harassing me and messing with me. And um, because the day before yesterday, I was in the park and I was actually attacked by a police officer. And it was very unexpected. I was on the phone talking to my mom and he wanted me to get off the phone and I wouldn't get off the phone. And he harassed me. And uh, I went to the American Embassy. I filed a report. I told them what was going on. And today, a day, well, yesterday was the day after the incident. I guess they were keeping a very close eye on me so that um, they could ensure or see whether or not I was going to the embassy so they could let the embassy know that I was coming and inform them on not to help me. Today is day three, the second day after the incident occurred. And I'm being harassed by police officers again. As I mentioned in the first video, I went uh, across this bridge over here and I was going to get a suitcase because I needed a suitcase because my other one is broken. And uh, I usually take this bridge path and because I take it, they know my path because when I walk, I walk with my phone and because my phone is a tracking device, they're aware of the paths that I take and they're able to study the times of day that I leave out of the house and the paths that I take. In addition to that, uh, there were two police officers over there looking to harass me, but because they saw I was on the phone with my mother, they held back. Now that it's time for me to come back in this direction, um, now that it's time for me to come back in this direction, you can see that there's a park park. A police automobile parked directly in the path so that they can harass me coming back again. I needed to make this video as documentation, you know, just in case my life, well, I do believe my life is in danger because when a police officer uh, wants you to get off the phone so that they can harass you and when they make other bystanders in the park leave so that they can harass you, that's not uh, good in any way. That's very fishy and it's very suspect and the suspect turned into a reality of police officers being dirty and to do anything. Uh, the reason why they're also clamping down on me is because I am here in Macedonia and all the borders in Europe are closed so I can't leave the country. There's no place where I can go. The airport is closed, the borders going to Serbia are closed, and the borders going to the other neighboring countries are also closed. So I'm in a situation where they feel that they can abuse me and mistreat me and force me to leave the park when I shouldn't be required to leave the park because they know that there are uh, not many places to go and they can do things and get away with it. But I'm making this video so that there can be people out there who can know about this situation and know that, yes, I this is a call of distress. I am in trouble. I do fear my life. When I'm in the hostel, I fear my life because they literally are pumping fumes and chemicals through the vents and through the walls at night. And I fear my life also when I am out walking because the police officers know that I'm not a guilty person, but because I'm a targeted individual, they harass me me and mess with me when I've done nothing wrong. I don't have any infractions with the law, but yet on a daily basis when I leave out of the house, I'm subjected to problems. And another thing to mention is the fact that when they attacked me in the park, the reason why they did it is because they thought that it would cause me to become a uh, a hermit and to stay in the hostel and to not come outside and that's really what they wanted to happen since they're pumping chemicals in there that harm the body, that cause inflammation, that harm the heart. The sad thing about making this video is that though there's some people who are on the line, on the internet searching for videos about targeted individuals, they don't believe my story because I'm the level of my targeting is at a totally different level than their level. You know, they want me dead and they also want me back in the United States where it was 10 times worse than it is here. But here, because of the fact that they are aware that I can't leave the country and I don't have that mobility, they are trying to capitalize on it while they can. While the borders are closed, try to get him down. Try to kill him. Try to get him in trouble. Try to harass him. Try to attack him and assault him. Try to do these things to him. This is the square. I've been here over a month, unfortunately. Huh. And um, I have never seen a police car parked here. And I walk this path almost on a daily basis. Enough to know that this is irregular. I may not be from here. I may not walk it every day. But I do know that this is an irregular practice. And um, yeah. This is my situation. And I ask that you know you guys pray for me. I should have listened to the Holy Spirit. If there's anyone who's religiously inclined. And the Holy Spirit gives you advice. Please pay attention to the advice. The reason why I came here. I was in Serbia at first. But the reason why I came here to Macedonia. Is because there was a job interview. And I really wanted to go to the job interview. And the Holy Spirit told me don't go to the job interview. But I really wanted a job. Because I had been with that one for so long. And by me coming here. I worsened the situation. 
I worsened in the situation. I didn't know that I was going to fall into the hands of police officers who were totally different from uh, what people want you to think about police officers. I didn't know that I was going to fall into a worse environment and walk out of the situation without a job. I came here because there was an interview for Emirates Airlines and they were hiring flight attendants and I have flight attendant experience with American Airlines. And I came here because I wanted to do another interview. And though I attended the interview, coronavirus messed up everything with the hiring process and also with uh, me being stuck here, meaning that I was prohibited from returning to wherever I wanted to go. But yeah, they're trying to capitalize on this situation. And if anything ever happens to me or if I stop making videos, I haven't stopped making videos simply because um, 